Every source has a source. The Athletic. As of January the 1st, when the Brexit transition period ends, it will no longer be possible for English clubs to sign overseas players under the age of 18. Now, this is widely regarded as a bad thing. But for whom? Because while excellent at identifying and recruiting young talent, Premier League clubs haven't exactly excelled when it's come to helping their potential flourish. Now, there is a reason why, when the Premier League, EFL, FA and Home Office finally came to an agreement over new entry requirements for overseas players in this post-Brexit world, Cesc Fabregas was referenced in every media report. Fabregas made his Arsenal debut barely a month after arriving from Barcelona at 16. At 17, he was a regular starter, and by the time he'd returned to Barcelona at 24, few doubted the decision he'd made to leave. Fabregas is an outlier, though. And among the dozens upon dozens of boys who've signed for Premier League clubs before their 18th birthday, the number of success stories is disconcertingly small. Of the many players who've left Holland at an early age, I would say only Tim Krull, Nathan Ake and Patrick van Aanholt, says Art Langela, the Dutch FA's Director of Football Development. Most of the time, the boys who go over to England aren't getting any real chances. I always think it's better to develop in Holland, make 100 appearances in the Dutch league and then move to a bigger league after that. Like Virgil van Dijk, who was still at Groningen at the age of 21, or his Liverpool teammate Jorginho Wijnaldum, who remained in the Eredivisie into his mid-twenties, or the foursome of Matthias de Ligt, Frenkie de Jong, Donny van der Beek and Hakim Ziyech, who helped Ajax reach the Champions League semi-final, or Stéphane de Frey, now at Internazionale, or even Memphis Depay, who struggled after joining Manchester United at 21 but has since thrived at Lyon. So many highly rated youngsters have left Dutch academies to chase the dream in the Premier League over the past couple of decades. From Ajax to Manchester United alone, there has been Giuliano van Velsen, Timothy fossu Mensah, Milan Bash, and Tyth Chong. fossu Mensah, 22, made an early breakthrough but is only now returning to the first team. Chong made a handful of appearances early in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's tenure but is now on loan at Werder Bremen. Van Velsen, 26, was released after three years at Old Trafford and, after spending last season at Crawley Town and Aldershot, is now back in the Dutch second tier with Telstar. And Berge, 20, was released after two years and is now in AZ Alkmaar's second team. Moving to England at 16 is a good opportunity to get experience of living and playing in another country and to earn a lot of money, Longola says. It works as a kind of life insurance because you're made for life even if you broke your leg. But if you ask me as a youth developer, he continues, I would say it's a bit of a strange step to go there at such a young age. If you stay in the Dutch league, then the club is so focused on your development. I think that's the way to do it, though I can fully understand why some players and their families want to move to England at the first chance. And this is not just a Dutch grievance. If anything, youngsters from the Netherlands have found it easier than most to adapt to life in England. For every Fabregas, there are dozens of more highly rated Spanish youngsters who've moved to England at the age of 16, only to stagnate in those late teenage years that were so crucial. Barcelona lost Fabregas and Gerard Piquet in the same summer of 2004 due to loopholes in their contracts. They ended up re-signing both, Fabregas at 24 having thrived at Arsenal and Piquet at 21 having concluded that heading home was the best move professionally and on a personal level. And they have tried to do likewise with Hector Bellerin. They've even tried to re-sign Eric Garcia, 19, barely three years after he left them for Manchester City, even though, like PK at Manchester United, he has found it hard to establish himself at first-team level. And there is a sadness when La Masia graduates go elsewhere and struggle. Fran Merida has had a good career in La Liga, but John Torrell and Julio Plegasuelo are now at Birmingham City and FC Zventi, respectively, which were not the hoped-for destinations when they were at Barcelona or when they left for Arsenal. Danny Pacheco joined Liverpool from Barcelona amid great fanfare in 2009. He went on to star at the European Under-19 Championship Finals a year later, but despite some fans clamouring for his involvement, he barely got a look in at Anfield and is now without a club at the age of just 29. Gaia Sulin left Barcelona for Manchester City but didn't come close to the first team and is now also at 29, is now playing in Romania. 22 Spanish players have appeared in the Premier League this season but only three have done so via the Fabregas route, after joining clubs before their 18th birthday. 26 French players have appeared in the Premier League this season, but the only one to do so via that route, the Anelka route this time, is Paul Pogba, 
who left La Havre for Manchester United at 16, moved on to Juventus at 19, having barely kicked a ball at Old Trafford, then returned in a world record transfer four years later. Now, yes, there are exceptions. There is also a counter-argument. In an article written by Raphael Honigstein, former Chelsea youngster Sebastian Knaisel is quoted, describing how the new legislation is taking away options for young players to develop in one of the most important football nations in the world. And there's merit to that argument, because young players will always benefit from the facilities that the largest English clubs can offer, and clearly protecting British players from competition until they turn 18 has obvious benefits too. As will the additional provision that from 2021-22, Premier League clubs will only be allowed to sign six overseas under-21 players per season. But those are different issues. And, in this instance, and for a few foreign players, there isn't much evidence to suggest that joining a Premier League club at 16 is good for a career. It is good for a bank balance, certainly, and most certainly for an agent's too. But the overseas players who survive and thrive in the Premier League are very rarely those who come over at a young age. But we don't need another striker. Listen, he's going to sign. My nephew's girlfriend's brother's barber. His best friend to the Kidman assistant. Every source has a source. The Athletic.